For much of the past decade, Argentina has seen a commodities-driven export boom, built largely on genetically modified soybean crops and aggressive use of pesticides. Argentina's leaders say it's turned the country's economy around. Others say the consequences are a dramatic surge in cancer rates, birth defects and land theft. So what's going on? Argentina is known for football and tango. It is South America's second largest country, with a land mass five times greater than France. For much of the 20th century, Argentina topped the world for meat production. Now it grows mostly soya, exporting more soya products than any other country. It's a shift credited with giving Argentina the fastest growth rate in South America. But the price tag for this economic miracle is high. Farmers driven off their land, an alleged epidemic of birth defects, and mass protests all but ignored by a president delighted by the profit that industry brings. Ten years ago, when Argentina defaulted on its foreign debt, the country was seen as a basket case for the poor man of Latin America. But not anymore. The world's desire for cheap food came to the rescue. And it's only by taking to the air that the full scale of this transformation can be seen soya plantations as far as the eye can see, not a cow in sight. Most of Argentina's arable land is now growing soya, generating some $20 billion turnover annually. Tiene que entenderse que eh, la soja se exporta en un 95%, no se consume soja en el país. Indudablemente en los últimos años se han transformado in one of the sources of work and of the most important that we have in our country. The government is raking it in, taking a third of income generated by soil exports. The minister arranged for us to interview the man regarded as the brains behind the soil boom, Gustavo Grobo Copatel, chief executive of Los Grobo, and the largest soya farmer in the world. Dubbed the soya bean king, he is an advocate of genetically modified food. We call this century the genetic century because we think that uh, the plants will be factories that, pro that will produce grains, but not only for food, also for fuels. The soybean plant is like a factory that uses the solar radiation, the solar energy, and don't produce CO2, consume CO2. This is a new paradigm. For me, it's a new industrial revolution, green. Nevertheless, since the soy boom in the north, other areas previously considered too difficult to farm are being opened up, like the vast wilderness of Patagonia in the south of the country. In the last 20 years, Argentina has lost almost half of its remaining forest cover to agriculture. And not everyone is happy with the changes that are taking place. We have uh, in front of us uh, this small plant and this small plant uh, is covering a huge surface uh, of Argentina. More than 18 million hectares are covered by uh, this GMO soya. 
but uh, it's not solely a matter of soya. It's because over this plant, in this huge surface, more than 300 million liters of pesticides are used. Professor Montenegro believes that in 10 years, the land itself will be dead as it becomes so saturated with pesticide. In Argentina, biodiversity is diminishing in natural ecosystems, even in national parks, because pesticides, they don't recognize the limit of the park. The spraying season starts in September and continues through to March, a time of fear across much of northern Argentina's rural heartland. Entire communities are afraid to go outdoors for fear of contamination. La fumigación es constante. Nosotros, por ejemplo, acá en, en la zona de antes eran las topadoras que se montaron. Generalmente ya no, no tenemos monte. Y la fumigación estamos rodeados de, desde desmontado y de siembra. Así que y la fumigación es una forma de hacernos desaparecer. Gustavo Grobo Copatel thinks pesticides help the poor. People that are against pesticides are against the poor people. The agriculture need a lot of pesticides to produce uh, more. And when you produce more, the cost, you reduce the cost and re you reduce the food price and a lot of poor people can eat. The vast majority of soya in Argentina is provided by U.S. chemical giant Monsanto. The company's genetically modified seed was designed to withstand their glyphosate-based pesticide, Roundup, which is routinely used in vast quantities across the country. But according to medical experts, in the process, everything else is poisoned including the local people. They claim that babies are being born with crippling birth defects and the incidence of childhood cancer has soared. It's a recent phenomenon which coincides with the introduction of Monsanto's seed. Dr. Cerveso has practiced medicine in San Peña in Chaco province for over 30 years. 20 years ago, she never saw malformations. Vemos las barras superiores donde muestran el número de malformaciones congénitas que ingresaron al servicio de neurología del Hospital Perrando. Abajo es este un gráfico que muestra el crecimiento de la superficie de soja sembrada en la provincia del Chaco en los mismos años. Una muestra muy gráfica de, del daño que se estaba produciendo genéticamente a la población. Dr. Cerveso wanted to show us just a few of the many sick children in the area. Raul is six, virtually paralyzed from the neck down and has breathing difficulties. Él nació en el 2007 y cuando yo andaba embarazada de él ya andaba, pero ahí me curaban más con avión. Me alegró la vida, sí, pero es una lucha por el problema que él tiene. Perdón que me, me emociono porque... Le quiero ver caminar y... Perdón, ese siempre me pasa. Yo le veo a mis nenas que camine y yo le quiero ver caminar a él. Nadia Perez is eight. She suffers from adversely evolving encephalopathy. Her condition is progressive. No, hay un tratamiento, pero me dice la doctora, no hay que perder la esperanza como está avanzada la tecnología de ahora, como puede haber un medicamento, un tratamiento 
No acá en la Argentina, pero otro lado, pero no importa ¿viste? que sea otro lado, pero es que hay un tratamiento. Un tratamiento, un remedio, algo. ¿eh? Like several children in the area, Asa suffers from skin disfigurements. Ashamed of her condition, she was embarrassed at the thought of us filming her back, but had previously allowed Dr. Cerveso to photograph it. Whilst it's impossible to attribute all such illnesses to glyphosate, the number of cases in towns and villages surrounded by soya fields is unprecedented. Contando esos pueblos son 12 millones de, de personas que están expuestas. Todos se enferman, no, todos no se enferman. Esto es como un cigarrillo, no todos los que fuman realizan un cáncer de pulmón. Pero cuando van a analizar los cánceres de pulmón, te encontrás que el 99% de los cánceres de pulmón fumaban, ¿no? There are a lot of people with, with bad formations. Yeah, it's not a believe or not believe. Uh, I don't know the, the reason. I'm not sure the reason. Uh, but I think that the people must uh, study to understand why they, they have malformation. We use the pesticides that the government approve. Yo soy médico neonatólogo, ¿no? Entonces yo recibo eh, niños que recién nacen y muchos niños que son más formaciones y tenemos que decirle a los padres que los niños van a morir y que a consecuencia de sus prácticas productivas. It was at the village of Ituzango in the north of Argentina that the full scale of the problem first became clear. Nuestra vida era normal como creíamos que era normal porque nos levantamos a la mañana y veíamos un verde hermoso al frente de nuestra casa y, y felices porque eso como que el verde te daba vida. Veíamos una avioneta que venía, este, eh, fumigaba a ver la orilla de nuestra casa y los chicos que salían corriendo eh, festejando la, la, el paso de la avioneta y siguiéndola, por supuesto, metiéndose a las hojas y lo que menos sospechábamos nosotros de que eso era malo. Alarmed that so many people in their village were falling ill, Vita and other mothers conducted their own epidemiological surveys. The results were startling. Cancer and birth malformations were running at levels many times the national average. You have to suppose that when you use 300 million of liters of agrochemical in Argentina, uh, from then 200 million of glyphosate alone, I mean, you have to suppose that you are going to do some damage to the health, uh, human health, no? Not only the human health, you, you, you are damaging the, the nature in one or other way. Professor Carrasco, Argentina's leading embryologist, heard about the mothers of Ituzango. They were observing there was an increase of cancer, especially leukemias and myelomas, and uh, malformation. So the only thing that I did was try to transport these things and see if I could see something in, 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 in experimental conditions. Carrasco observed a link between glyphosate and malformations under laboratory conditions, proving the mothers right. Armed with Carrasco's evidence, Vita and her friends ran a successful campaign to stop the spraying at Ituzango, culminating in a legal battle against two local soya farmers. But for many, it's too little and too late. Acá se hizo el juicio que está muy bien porque se condenó eh, la, la fumigación y el, el incumplimiento de las leyes, de la ordenanza, pero nadie se ocupó de la, del enfermo. La familia también está enferma porque son personas que tienen un, eh, una malformación que lo va a llevar por el resto de su vida. 
y acá nadie se ocupa de eso. Por eso es lo que recién hablábamos del grupo que estamos armando para contenernos entre nosotras. Back in the capital, it's party time. The mood at the carnival is upbeat. Argentina has booked the trend of the global downturn and the feeling here is that good times are coming. Buenos Aires is hundreds of miles from the suffering caused by the soya boom, and the national media, based in the capital, have remained silent on the issue, for once unquestioning of the government, whose assertion that there are no health problems arising from soya goes unchallenged. Nosotros no ponemos en riesgo nuestras poblaciones. La Argentina es uno de los países más seguros en materia de cuidado medioambiental en, en función del control que hacemos de la utilización de fertilizantes y plaguicidas. A speech made by the Minister of Agriculture at a Monsanto soirée suggests an extraordinarily close relationship between the government and the company. Argentina se caracteriza eh, en el mundo de los alimentos justamente por tener productos de primera y altísima calidad y en muchísimos casos productos premium. Así que agradecerle la confianza a la gente de Monsanto y transmitirle que desde el gobierno nacional vamos a seguir trabajando con la misma visión, la misma esfuerzo y el mismo esfuerzo que necesita este país para salir adelante. Monsanto declined an interview for this program, so he asked for a written response to claims that their pesticides, when sprayed on soybean crops close to population centers, have caused serious health problems among rural communities in Argentina. In a statement, the company said, Roundup brand agricultural herbicides have a long history of safe use when used according to label directions in more than 100 countries around the world. Comprehensive toxicological studies have demonstrated that glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup branded agricultural herbicides, does not cause birth defects or reproductive problems. Such assurances are clearly enough for the Argentinian government. Indeed, the country's populist president, Cristina Kirchner, is one of Monsanto's strongest advocates and has championed the GMO experiment started by previous administrations. Estoy la verdad que se los quiero mostrar porque estoy muy orgullosa el prospecto de Monsanto. Vieron cuando hacen prospectos porque ya está hecho la inversión, si no no te hacen prospecto. Kirchner has an absolute majority in Congress, which has allowed her to impose unpopular developments on rural communities. This is the site of a new Monsanto factory at the village of Malvinas Argentinas, 20 miles from Cordoba, Argentina's second city. It will be their largest in South America, Hundreds of giant silos will stand less than 300 meters from homes and in close proximity to a school. Parents are worried that when the wind comes from the east, children will be breathing a dust cloud from the seeds sprayed with pesticides. One teacher, Matthias Mosai, is fighting the project. Hay 240 silos con granos de maíz impregnados de más químicos que con el roce generan un polvillo que eso cuando se ventila, porque se ventila a pesar de que ellos dicen que no se ventilan y en su aviso de proyecto lo, lo, lo dicen, hay que ventilarlos porque si no el, el eh, los gases hacen que explote el silo. Cuando eso se ventile va a venir a parar al pueblo y son 240 silos tirando un, una nube de polvillo con químicos para que respiremos nosotros. Opposition to the project is growing. Residents are desperate to stop it, fearful of what will happen to their children. The town already suffers the consequences of being surrounded by soya plantations. During the spraying season, rainwater which falls on the town is routinely contaminated with glyphosate, which local doctors claim is responsible for a rate of miscarriage a hundred times higher than the national average. 
But the risk of medical problems aren't the only dangers being associated with Argentina's soya boom. In the far north of the country, people are dying in other ways. The big money that can be made by growing soya is attracting a new breed of land grabbers wanting to displace villagers with plantations. Christian Ferreira was murdered for refusing to move. Shot by a gunman working for a local landowner. His mother heard the news from Ferreira's wife. Salvo con ella en otra moto vamos con la chica y lo ayudo mi hijo. Tirado corta de la piel. Charco de sangre. Ya estaba muriendo mi hijo. Él me lo había valido viniendo a decir que dejen de molestar con las tierras que son del empresario y ellos son los cuidadores. Ellos vivían con armas. Not far from the village, Miguel Tolosa's farm has been repeatedly attacked. Now they're trying to burn him off his land. ¿Qué va a denunciar? Ya hice una denuncia una vez, vinimos con la policía, constatamos todo el alambre roto. Y nada, y nada. Y ahora lo peor con la seca que hay, el poco, poco, poco pasto que hay. Elsewhere, villages have had their water spiked with poison in an attempt to force them from the land. This happened at Campo Union, when the community's only well was poisoned. Thankfully, no human drank the poisoned water but most of the animals perished. No, nosotros éramos 25 y bueno, y de con los problemas que hubo, quedamos nosotros la familia más somos 14 somos una familia por los problemas que hubo y además que por el caso el agua, yo que acá no donde saca el agua, sino nada por pozo ese que ahora tuvimos un problema con el agua. Se fueron la gente. With no help from the state, villages have no choice but to defend the land themselves. Makase is an organization made up of thousands of peasants and Amerindians that have come together to support communities under attack. The first is the conscientization, digamos, no? Poder, este, que el movimiento como movimiento haya podido dar la posibilidad a los compañeros campesinos de sentirse sujetos de derecho, personas con dignidad y que pueden luchar por sueños posibles, por un mundo más justo, eso es lo más importante creo que ha logrado el movimiento. Y después, bueno, frenar desalojos, recuperar territorios, defender territorios y todo lo que eso significa para nosotros, que es toda la biodiversidad que ahí existe, ¿no? animales, plantas, tierra, agua, y un modo de vida, un modo de vivir de las personas en ese, en ese territorio. But many communities are living in fear. It's an uneven battle. Kidnapping and torture is common. A mí me ha pasado, a mí junto a mi familia y a compañeros de, del movimiento, muchos atropellos. En el caso mío, por ejemplo, eh, han venido una banda armada de policía un día a la tarde por ejemplo eh, han atropellado así como han venido han entrado ¿viste? con camionetas que no eran de la policía pero todo vestido de policía ahora han sido como 40 ¿no? se han escondido y entonces a mí me han agarrado me han a poner como no le encontraba me han puesto una bolsa en la cabeza y me echaban gas pimienta así y me pegaban en el estómago but it was Javier's brother, Ramon, a Makase organizer they were really after. And they returned later to the house, banging on the door. Yes, I am. 
Eh, salí, hijo de puta, dice, porque acabo te andaba buscando, te voy a cagar matando. Y yo intento cerrar la puerta, ¿no? Y me pegó un tiro en la pierna aquí. ¿Y qué? Ahí nomás empezamos los tirones. ¿Qué? Un ruido de tiros eh, dentro de la, la, la casa ya, mi casa. Y a los tiros limpios, con balas de goma, no sé qué, mía bala de... Pero eran, no sé, más de 10, 12 tiros han tirado adentro. Le han valido a mi tío que por acá. Contratan matones, le llamamos nosotros, o sea, contra, contratan eh, seguridad privada, destruye hectáreas y hectáreas, y en el camino, o si sea, hay corrales, hay casas, viviendas de los compañeros, también destruyen, queman. Y después le mandan a la soja y bueno, y ahí, ahí empieza entonces el, las avionetas con agroquímicos, ¿no? Es todo el mismo. Parte de los derechos humanos son los derechos que tienen los pueblos originarios sobre el uso de esas tierras. Y ahí es donde nosotros estamos haciendo el gran esfuerzo para tratar de titularizar la mayor cantidad de tierra a esos pueblos originarios. Entonces, generalmente se producen estos desencuentros que se dan en algunas provincias argentinas donde el corrimiento de la barrera agropecuaria o el valor de la tierra que puede darle la soja, por ejemplo, o que le puede dar el maíz, hace de que se desplace a algunos pueblos originarios que no tienen la titularidad de la tierra. The latest misunderstanding resulted in the murder of Miguel Galván, a Macase activist who had his throat cut. Back in Chaco, it's Nadia's birthday a rare cause for celebration in a land where it's the children who pay the price for Argentina's economic miracle. As more and more land is turned over to soil production, it may prove a high price indeed. Is turned over to soil production, it may prove a high price indeed. <laughs> 